Day is this Thursday, but we here at News 8 are sharing a full week of Earth 8 stories to bring awareness to our planet. We begin our series tonight with meteorologist Sean Stiles, who tells us about a cancer killing sea lions along the California coast and how researchers think it might lead to saving human lives. Here in San Diego at the La Jolla Cove, we have seals and sea lions like these, but unfortunately, there is a lethal cancer that is taking many of them. Researchers up north are looking into it and see a connection that actually might save human lives. The sea lions that hang out at Pier 39 in San Francisco are always a tourist favorite, and four-year-old Anaya Langston doesn't want anything bad to happen to them. They need to be safe, and they need to live in, in um, a safe place. But they haven't been safe for a long time. In 1979, the Marine Mammal Center in the Marin Headlands began finding sea lions dying from a cancer called urogenital carcinoma. Since then, up to a quarter of all adult sea lions admitted to the hospital have died from it. It's been a mystery until now. Researchers have discovered the cancer is caused by a sea lion version of genital herpes. It's a sexually transmitted virus, um, which is actually quite an efficient way to spread if you're a virus um, because you have to reproduce to keep the species going. But lead researcher Dr. Elisa Deming says man has a hand in this as well. It's believed that contaminated water is triggering the virus to create the cancer. Recently, it was discovered that thousands of barrels of the banned pesticide DDT were dumped in the ocean in the 70s, right off the Channel Islands the place where 90% of the sea lion pups are born. It's, it's like the last place you want a bunch of contaminants to be is in your nursery, and the Channel Islands is that, that place. In a bitter irony, the sea lion cancer is similar to the cervical cancer in humans, so it may unlock the answers to preventing it in people. Dr. Deming says there is no treatment for the sea lions, but she would like to see something good come from their deaths. We can utilize these animals, kind of respect them in their death by taking advantage of learning as much as we can from them. Dr. Deming credits the Marine Mammal Center for recognizing the spike in cancer cases and saving tissue samples starting in the mid-90s. Those samples from more than 300 animals are helping drive the research. At this point, it appears the cancer is mainly affecting the sea lions that do their breeding in and around the Channel Islands. Here in San Diego, the population is not as affected. We'll send it back to you in the studio.